एम एच सी एफ एंड एल सी एम नाउ वी डिस्कस फर्स्ट हाउ यू विल गेट टू नो वेदर यू हैव टू अप्लाय हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर और लीस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल ओके दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो इन शॉर्ट वी से वेदर इट इज एच सी एफ और एल सी एम ओके सो इन द एच सी एफ केस सपोज यू गेट द एग्जाम्पल ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी एट एंड थर्टी सिक्स दिस थ्री आर द नंबर सो देयर एच सी एफ इज फोर ओके मीन्स देयर ग्रेटेस्ट हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर इज फोर आफ्टर दैट यू चेक अदर नंबर दैट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट सो वेन यू डू द एच सी एफ वॉट एवर द आंसर यू गेट दैट नंबर विल बी स्मॉलर दैट इज द लॉजिक and in lcm whatever the answer you get like lcm of 20 25 and 30 is 300 means that number is coming in the multiples of 20 25 and 30 so whatever the answer we get that number will be greater so whenever you get the question you have to think first whether that number should be smaller or greater of the present existing number so this is the important way to judge whether you have to apply hcf or lcm in the problem again i repeat in the case of hcs whatever the number we are getting in the calculation that will be smaller number whatever the number is there in the question this number will be greater in the lcm whatever the numbers are present so that is the important trick now we go on the actual exercise part so renu purchase two bags of fertilizer of the weight 75 kg 69 kg find the maximum value of weight which can measure the weight of the fertilizer exact number of time so now you see the question carefully renu purchase two bag of fertilizer their weight is 75 and 69 so you have to think whether it is lcm problem or hcf problem it is just like uh, you have the two bucket of water okay and you have to take that water and you have to put into the separate bucket so what you take you will take one container small container and uh, you will take the water from that two bucket okay so this problem is like that so you have you have to apply their division technique it means you have to apply their hcf because renu purchase a two bag of fertilizer find the maximum here the maximum word is coming that is also one more way to judge so that maximum word come in the hcf highest common factor okay so here hcf will be applied and whatever the number it will come it will be less because here we are doing the we are taking something from that 2 kg so it is uh, that technique is known as a division technique okay so as i told you the example suppose you have two bucket of water and you it is just like you have to taking uh, a water from the container so it is like that so in this technique you have to use the hcf so for finding maximum weight we have to find hcf of 75 and 69 so it is the prime factorization of 75 and 69 so in the prime factorization now i am assuming you are knowing the prime factorization for getting prime factorization or you can say hcf of 75 and 69 you have the various way you can use tree diagram you can use factorize method you can use this technique also whichever you find easy so i am assuming you are already knowing this so the factors are like that then you have to take the common one common is here 3 is common other number is not common here and when you solve that you can divide by 3 you get 25 answer again you divide by 5 you get 5 answer again you divide by 5 you get 1 so you have to continue till you get 1 in the both way now in the common factor that is the 3 so the hcf is 3 hence the require maximum value of weight is 3 kg got that now we will move on the second question three boys step up together from the same spot their step measure in the centimeter some numbers have been given what is the minimum distance each should cover so that all can cover the distance in complete step so here 
whatever the answer is there it will come means that number will be that number you can say it is that value will be larger than this okay that value will be larger than that this how you can identify because this step of together like 63 cm 70 77 in the question it is asking what is the minimum distance it should cover so that means they are going to cover up the distance so that distance will be definitely larger than this value so in uh, which concept we will get larger value hcm hcm or lcm we will we get in the lcm larger value we get in the lcm so we will apply lcm so the minimum distance that each boy should walk must be complete multiple so we will apply lcm and the second way here the minimum is given so least means minimum so you have to apply lcm now in the lcm method you can use this technique here you we have three numbers so it is better if you use this initially divide by 2 you can also divide by 3 and at the last you do that continuously till you get 1 then you do their multiplication in the lcm and their multiplication will come in this number 6930 Hence the required minimum distance is 6,930 centimeter because in the question centimeter is key one. Third one, the length, breadth, and height of room is key one. Find the lo longest step which can measure the three dimension of the room. So here the longest word is there. It is present in the HCF means highest. So we will get to know HCF should be used. and here hcf should be used because one more reason is there because for length breadth and height is given so tap sides should be definitely smaller than this which can measure this measurement so here the technique will be used is hcf so you have to find hcf and uh, for getting hcf you can use this technique common number you have to calculate so the common numbers here the this is the factors of this number and uh, the common numbers like 3 5 and 5 these are the common number you do the calculation you will get 75 here is the required longest step is 75 cm so in this question i tell you friend it is easy to calculate lcm and hcf but it is difficult to think whether lcm should be used or hcf so that you should understand fourth one determine the this is the different type of question determine the smallest three digit number which is exactly divisible by 6 8 and 12 you see carefully which is exactly divisible by 6 8 and 12 so particular number is there and which should be divisible by 6 8 and 12 as well as smallest is given so it means lcm will be applied so here the smallest three digit number is given in the question that you already know smallest three digit number is 100 and you have to calculate the lcm of this three values so lcm whatever the numbers are coming in the right hand side you have to multiply that it is coming 24 but 24 is not a three digit number so here you have to divide that three digit number 100 by 24 so here we are getting the remainder 4 okay so this four number you cannot subtract from 100 why because we want three digit number so you simply subtract from 24 so i have subtracted from 24 you get 20 then finally add this 20 into 100 you add that 20 number to 100 so we get 120 so hence the uh, required number is 120 again you uh, whatever the problem they are like that same procedure will be applied first you calculate lcm then this number you divide this uh, then whatever the smallest number is there you divide this number by 24 means lcm and that remainder you have to subtract from this number you cannot subtract from here if the larger number is there you can subtract so you can subtract from 24 and finally add into the 100 so this is the smallest three digit number Question number five. Greatest three-digit number. Greatest is there. You should not apply the HCF. You have to apply LCM because again you see carefully that number exactly divisible by eight, ten, and twelve. So LCM should be applied because that number will be bigger. So LCM you have to apply like that. 
I am assuming now you understood this procedure so I am not wasting time here and then you have to do their multiplication you are getting 120 and as you know the greatest three digit number is 999 so what you will do you have to divide this number greatest three digit number by 120 then you get the remainder 39 so that 39 you have to subtract from here why you are not subtracting like previous problem because we want three digit number if you subtract from here then also we get three digit number so we are subtracting from 999 and we are getting 960 so this is the way of getting the answer 61 traffic light is there at three uh, different road crossing change after 48 72 and 108 seconds respectively if they change simultaneously at 7 am at what time will they change simultaneously again so again simultaneously means here the time is going to increase so you have to apply lcm okay so to find the lcm the procedure now you understood you do their multiplication the answer is 432 so here you have to find the time so 1 minute equal to 60 second so 60 second is nothing nothing but 1 minute so you calculate the timing so here you have to 1 second is nothing but 1 upon 60 minutes so you multiply both side by 432 so 432 second equals to 432 divided by 60 minutes so if you do their calculation the answer if you divide this number by 60 the answer will be 7 quotient will be 7 and remainder will be 12 so it is 7 minute 12 second therefore in the question at what time will they change simultaneously again and if they change simultaneously at 7 am again you see question carefully the traffic light at three different road crossing changes in particular second if they change simultaneously at 7 am so after 7 am when they change so it means that 7 am plus 7 minutes 12 second it means the time is nothing but uh, 7 am after that 7 minute plus 12 second so you can put their am also so this is the answer of this question question number 7 3 tankers contain the water uh, sorry 3 tankers contain the liters of diesel respectively find the maximum capacity of container that can measure the diesel in such a problem whatever the answer come that number come in uh, that number will be smaller so in such a problem always SCF technique will be used why because I told you this example is just like in two bucket you have the water you are taking that water by small container or mug so that is what that container size will be smaller when you are taking the water from two buckets step by step so here also it is like that the containers are there diesel is there find the maximum capacity of container that can measure the diesel of the three container exact number of times so you have to use their SCF because that number cap the container capacity will be definitely smaller than this so if you use the uh, HCF here so here in the HCF uh, you have to apply procedure like that and in the HCF we pick up the common number so common number is 31 so it means that your answer is 31 hence the maximum capacity of required container is 31 liter it find the least number which when divided by this number leave remainder fine each so here you have to use which concept you have to use LCM why because we are dividing by 6 5 6 15 and 18 so that number will be larger so lcm technique is there you have to calculate their lcm this is the lcm 90 and remainder 5 in each case so you simply add 5 because they are telling remainder is 5 so you add that 5 you are getting 95 so hence the required number is 95 so whenever in the question when divided by statement is there you have to use LCM and remainder phi in each case so remainder is there means you have to add that phi so that will be the the least number will be 95 so to get the remainder phi the least number will be 95 you have to add phi because the remainder is phi again I repeat hence the required number is 95 find the smallest four digit number which is divisible by 
थ्री नंबर सो दैट नंबर विल बी डेफिनेटली लार्जर सो इट इज एल सी एम सो एल सी एम यू हैव टू यूज एंड द स्मॉलेस्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर मीन्स थाउजेंड सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एल सी एम फर्स्ट दिस इज द एल सी एम टू हंड्रेड एटी एट एंड सिंस टू हंड्रेड एटी एट इज अ स्मॉलर नंबर विच इज एक्जैक्टली डिविजिबल बाय दिस थ्री नंबर बट इट इज नॉट अ फोर डिजिट नंबर सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय टू हंड्रेड एटी एट वी आर गेटिंग रिमाइंडर वन हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स नाउ यू सी केयरफुली दिस यू कैन नॉट सब्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम थाउजेंड बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर सो यू सब्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम टू हंड्रेड एटी एट सो नाउ यू गेट वन फिफ्टी टू एंड दैट यू एड टू द थाउजेंड सो दैट यू विल गेट फोर डिजिट नंबर सो दिस वन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Again, I repeat, you cannot subtract from year because we want four-digit number. So you subtract from year and add to the thousand. So hence the required number is there. So in this way, uh, you can easily solve. And I just one more time, I am telling you, it is very easy to calculate LCM and HCM. The important thing is you have to decide whether it will be LCM or HCM. So the simple trick is you have to think in answer. whether you are going to get larger or smaller number if you read the problem carefully you can easily guess and second trick is in maximum problem greatest smallest is given so in many problem if the greatest is there hcf is there if the smallest is there lcm is there but it is not always true in every problem so i hope friend you understood this thanks for watching thank you